It's 2023, and if you thought that video was done, you have another thing coming. Last year, we saw the biggest explosion of video, literally with content being posted everywhere. And this year will be no different. See, I'm a professional videographer, editor, and content creator. So video is my job. And last year I went to NAB, which is the National Association of Broadcast Show. I also went to Vid Summit, which is a massive conference for YouTubers to learn how to create better content from the biggest creators on the planet. And I can tell you that video is going to be even bigger this year because of a new piece of technology that everyone is talking about that's right we're talking about AI. now last year my team and I worked really hard to create over 500 videos not only for my platform but for our clients as well and I can tell you if we had these AI tools last year it would have made our lives so much easier so let's break down five different ways that you can enhance your video strategy this year and use AI in order to make the entire process easy. And thanks to Dell and NVIDIA for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now, when it comes to creating better videos, it starts with having fantastic audio. And thanks to AI, having bad audio is a thing of the past. Thanks to some new tools from Adobe, we now have a plugin that you can use in order to instantly clean up your audio. And check this out, it's free. For example, I'm currently standing outside next to a very busy street with tons of traffic, loud car noise, along with wind noise as well. And this is now what it sounds like with this plugin. All I had to do was drag and drop my audio and it sounds clean. If you go to Adobe's website, you can go online and I'll have the links down below in the description and literally just add your file to the website. It'll process it using AI and it cleans up your audio in a snap. With an AI tool like this, this means that you no longer have an excuse for having bad audio. So don't get left behind and definitely don't have bad audio. Use this tool and increase your video quality by increasing your audio quality. Now I mentioned earlier that last year, my team and I created over 500 videos. But the secret to that is that we didn't actually go and shoot 500 videos, but we repurposed a lot of pre-existing content that we created for ourselves and for our clients in order to create those 500 videos. And that is something that you are going to wanna do this next year. At the end of the day, going out and shooting and then editing is a very complicated process and very time consuming as well. However, if you can create content with the idea of repurposing in mind, you're gonna be able to get not only more for your money when it comes to the time that you spend in production, but you're also going to be able to meet the demands that the new content strategies of the new year are going to require. A couple tools that I have for this is one, whenever you're out filming, try to shoot things maybe just a tad bit wider than you think you would. This is gonna give you the opportunity to not only be able to punch in and make additional edits as needed, but also if you're shooting things horizontally, always sort of think if you don't have the time to then double shoot it for vertical, leave enough room that will allow you to then be able to edit that footage and use it for vertical as well. Now, a lot of professional editors such as DaVinci or Premiere have AI tools built into them that can actually help you to create this vertical content. They have tools in them that can track the subject and then use that tracking in order to move the subject into a vertical nine by 16 frame. The benefit here is that you edit the video once horizontally and then allow the AI tools to re-edit the video for you for vertical viewing. One last Last little tip when it comes to shooting with repurposing in mind is be sure that you're getting long wide shots of whatever you're getting sort of as a safety and the benefit here is that as trends pop up this just gives you the opportunity to reuse those shots for these trends in the future. As we know, most of these trends are tied to songs and we don't know exactly how long the clip needs to be. So grab yourself a safety clip, a longer version of the same shot you just got, and that'll ultimately help you to repurpose that shot for future trends as the year progresses. Now my third tip is all about editing and really how you can use AI tools in order to help you in your editing process. When it comes to the world of video, I personally believe that editing is the bottleneck that pretty much stops most videos from ever coming out. And that's because editing typically takes 
three to four times as long to get done as it originally takes to shoot the video. And so this is where having strong AI tools and actually using those AI tools are going to help you drastically. Now I understand as an editor, there are probably tons of different editing applications that you might be using. For example, you might be using a free application like CapCut, where you can use AI tools in order to auto-generate captions for your video. Or maybe you're using DaVinci Resolve and you're using it in order to automatically create masks on your subject when you're going about the color grading process. At the end of the day, this is the AI tools through your editor that's going to allow you to save the most amount of time. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these AI tools can be very power hungry. And so that's why it's really important to invest and have a very powerful workstation, whether that is your portable laptop or desktop. Now, one option you could consider is the Dell Precision line with the 7670. This is a 16 inch powerful computer. It has an NVIDIA RTX graphics card, an Intel i9 core processor, and you can configure this computer to whatever your needs are. As I mentioned, when it comes to editing, this can be such a time consuming process and literally the time you save when editing can help you to create more content. And this is why personally I recommend investing in a really good computer. With the Precision Line, these computers are designed for professionals. So if you are a professional content creator, editor, videographer, then this is definitely a system that you should consider. With the help of the NVIDIA RTX graphics card, you can also transform your AI workflow with real-time ray tracing and accelerated AI to create photorealistic concepts. It can also help boost AI-based applications, producing visually accurate renders faster. Not only do you have all this power under the hood, but the screen is beautiful, which is great for editing, and you have all the ports that you need on the system, including not only USB-C and Thunderbolt ports, but you also have a full-size ethernet port on this computer specifically, which is great for being able to directly connect to the internet and be able to upload all this crazy amount of content that we're gonna be creating over the next year. You know, obviously you need a powerful computer, so I wanna thank Dell for sponsoring this portion of the video. So if you wanna check out this workstation or some of the other ones within the Precision line, check out the links down below in the description. Now this next tip is something that if you're like me and you wanna to try to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to creating content, this has definitely been what has worked for me in 2022 and for all the clients that I've worked with. And on top of that, this is one of the secrets that I heard from the biggest creators on the YouTube platform alone, but creators all over the place are using in order to really maximize their content creation strategy, and that is shooting everything in bulk. See, a lot of times we hear on social media that you need to sacrifice quality in order to create quantity. But the truth is, is that professional content creators are not doing this. They're getting quality and quantity, but they're doing it in a very smart way. Take this video for example. Currently, I am sitting here with a camera, I have lights and audio, and this table and this massive set all built out to make this video. Now, technically, I could just shoot one YouTube video and call it quits. However, when you take the time to create quality, now you need to create quantity. And so while I'm sitting here, I'm going to make this video and I have a handful of other videos already planned to do this. And this is how you get high quality and high quantity. Before I let you guys go, I, I do wanna get real for just one second. See, I personally believe that next year, we are going to see more content being released on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I mean, I honestly just saw the other day that even Amazon has like stories and shorts now to help you sell products, which is a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. However, I believe that it's gonna be super important that we stay genuine to who we are and we don't forget the person behind the art that we're creating. I do believe that as creators, we should embrace these AI tools because it's going to make the process easier for us, but you have to create content that's for you. And the challenge that I'm gonna take this year is that I'm gonna create content that I'm never gonna post. It's going to allow me to create and be the most authentic version of myself while I'm creating. And by doing so, I can then take that knowledge that I gain from the art that I'm making and then use that to influence the work that I create for this platform and for my clients. So I strongly recommend that you take that challenge as well. Create for you, 
with no intention of posting. And don't use AI because, I mean, you're not a robot, are you? Or are you? I want to say thank you to all the members of the Creative Fam Academy. If you want to help support this channel so I can keep creating content like this that educates you guys in how to make better videos, then go down there, check out that link. So that way I don't have to become a slave to the robot overlords. But thanks for checking out this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.